Feels good in there. I'm against stone graves. Awkward. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome and good morning. Today I am out and about again in New Orleans and we did a city bus tour which you saw some footage of earlier and now we are stopping by Lafayette Cemetery number one to check out the very famous cemetery if you're a fan of Anne Rice. You're probably familiar with the cemetery as well. But after this we'll be going to have lunch at a really fancy little joint next door and then after that we'll probably just walk around a little bit more. I really want to see Anne Rice's mansion. so pretty. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't say what it was this consort of J.G. Rogers each 19 No years. way. Whoa. Hey, girl. Wait, so is she buried with? With the family. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's some serious drama. I know, right? <laughs> girl. Girl, you made it good. No last name. Way to go, Ellen. Congrats. On your nice grave. Bum bum, fancy girl, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, one of the nice things about Lafayette Cemetery Number One is that it's um, completely guarded on all four walls to keep the traffic noise out. So you can only hear a little bit in the background, uh, just like all, all the cemeteries in New Orleans. But it's also free to come in here 
and it's open to the public so you don't have to buy a some kind of tour to be able to come in here and just kind of wander around yourself and um, you know once I read the Wikipedia page that's usually what I prefer to do is just walk around in a place and wander around and take the pictures that I want without feeling rushed So what we were told by our tour guide earlier is that these are all family plots. So what happens is New Orleans, they marry you with all your family, assuming you're still on good terms. So if you haven't been written out of the will, you don't have to buy your own burial plot. What happens is you get stuck in one of these, everyone else, some of which can have upwards of 100 plus people. Isn't that right? That's right. Right. Are you telling them stories? No. Are they true stories? Maybe. So the burial process includes embalming, but only enough to get through the funeral. Because they don't want to keep people preserved. They call it natural cremation, where they will put you in here for a year and a day. And then after that, they will pull you out. And apparently, make sure the body gets beaten to make sure the bones and everything start breaking up and then you're put in a bag and put back in one of these and I guess it's got like a basement section where it kind of goes into so behind every one of these is some concrete some other kind of material so they'll take these plaques off you see there's a little screw up top so they'll take them out, break it down put someone in and then seal it back off Alright friends, we're in the Garden District and I just found Anne Rice's house. So cool. So this was formerly owned by Anne Rice and apparently one of my followers on Twitter. So hey dude, what's up? This gorgeous house is currently for sale if you want to buy it. Um, I think somebody should call them and ask how much it is just because I'm curious and I don't want to call them and ask. <laughs> look at the front door. Oh my god, look at that. It's so gorgeous. And here we have the house from American Horror Story. So this was, I believe, season three, the one about the witches. It's a private residence, so they say no loitering, of course. So I'll just leave before they come out and yell at us, but there you go. Cool place, man. Huge, huge house. Aw, oh, Keith, did you make a friend? What's her name? Sarah. Martha. Martha. It's definitely Martha. Yeah, but she likes to go by Sarah. She likes- oh, okay. I'm glad you checked that for us.
to be a really fun day. I know that I didn't record that much today. It was mostly just b-roll and not a lot of conversation, but I was just too busy enjoying myself, so I hope you enjoyed it too. But tomorrow we're planning to go to the World War II Museum, which I am so excited about, especially since I'm an army brat and I had a lot of family in World War II, so that's gonna be extremely special for me, I think. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I believe we're also going to check out Café du Monde, finally, so I'm gonna try some beignets that everybody's been telling me to go to, so there are some drunk people in the hallway at our hotel. So I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you everyone for your recommendations and telling me I should go there. And what else are we gonna do? Probably just hang out in the French Quarter. So it's been really relaxing, but I am so tired and the sun just beat down on us all day. So luckily I don't think I burned, which is good. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Patreon if you're interested in getting some free access to my high-res photography that I do while I travel. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.